Oh, Eric back a naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Just because it's natural doesn't mean to say it's always good. Here's the question. Can too much probiotics be the cause of my ill feeling? Absolutely, is the answer. I want you guys to remember something very important when it comes to dietary supplementation, nutritional supplementation. Okay, These aren't basically just like something you buy in the supermarket. You can pop you know, pills anytime you want, and they're, they're quite harmless. Well, in fact, they're not. Many supplements can create serious problems for people when taking incorrectly in ridiculously high doses, crazy combinations, very long duration supplementation treatment. All these things can lead you down the path of a lot of different health problems. So in my opinion, taking supplements, especially good quality ones, is no different from taking pharmaceutical medications long term. You need good advice. You need to be careful what you're doing. It's easy to do the wrong thing. Well over half the people I see waste their money on probiotics. They take them when they don't need to take them, A, B, they take too many or not enough, okay, C, they don't take them long enough or they take them for far too long. Timing is everything with probiotics. Right? Quality is everything and timing is everything. It's not just a matter of popping them and then all of a sudden you're going to get a great digestive function. I cannot tell you how many people I've seen time and again, time and again where we've done extensive testing on and we found no growth in the gut of any kind of beneficial bacteria, you know, particularly the two main groups, the bifidobacteria and the lactobacillus. They were barely culturable. They showed nil growth. The patient was taking VSL3, for example, very expensive probiotic. Or the patient was taking just a cheap you know, budget Jarrow's formula from Amazon. And in both of these cases, I saw the same outcome. No difference at all in their count. Even after a year of taking probiotics, no build-up at all. And then we get other people who take really expensive probiotics or really cheap ones, and they've got four-plus count. They've got high count in their stool test. <coughs> they don't need to be taking probiotics. All right? Some people just don't need to be taking probiotics. They colonize very easily in their gut. You know, uh, When they die off, they quickly come back again, and they have no problem. So they don't even need them. They probably likely all their life really need a probiotic. So how do you know if you're that type of person? The only way you'll know is stool testing. All right. You can just get a microbiology panel done to look at the stool itself, at the bacteria to see what they're doing. So, But probiotics when taken too much of can create gassiness, bloating, lots of digestive problems for people, just like not enough can. So if you get bloating, and you feel sick or you feel funny on a probiotic, you want to stop it entirely for two to three weeks to see what happens. And generally, if it is a connection, the symptoms will subside markedly. Okay? When the symptoms drop right off, start the probiotic again, this time at the rate of one capsule per day, or one dose per day. And just keep that going for several weeks to see if you get a similar pattern coming up again of an aggravation. If you do, stop the probiotic again. <coughs> and the second time you stop it, you're likely probably don't want to go back for three to six months. You may even want to try another probiotic to see if there's any crap in the probiotic. So can too much probiotics be the cause of my ill feeling? It can if it has prebiotics with it. So check that if there's any FOS or inulin or these kind of sugars that are added with it in the assumption that they're going to feed you know, the beneficial bacteria. Oh yeah, they do feeding all right. In many cases, they feed SIBO up as well, and they feed bad bacteria. So I'm not a big fan at all of, of these prebiotics anymore. I won't touch them. I've had too many aggravations with patients over the years with prebiotics, so I've finished with them. I just use probiotics. Check out my formulation, Canzita Restore. It's in a green, it's in a white bottle with a green label on it. Restore is a clever blend of enzymes and probiotics put together specifically for SIBO cases, candida cases, parasite cases. And it works beautifully for the majority of people. The benefit is you've actually got enzymes with the probiotics. So you're going to, if there's any residues of food there, you're going to break them down more properly. You're going to have less fermentation, less bloating. I've got patients now in over 70 countries now that I see that are telling me how much they like the Canzida Restore product. 
So that's an option for you too. You could look at a formula that contains both enzymes and probiotics instead of just taking a probiotic, which could really cause a problem. The enzymes are a vital part and they're often lacking. As soon as the enzyme comes into the formula, you watch how the beneficial counts start going up in many cases. It can make a big, big difference. I discovered that probably about 10 years ago, that when I combined both the supplements, I got a better outcome. But then when I created a supplement with them both in there, in the same time, I got the best outcomes. So that's a bit of food for thought for you. But yeah, probiotics can cause ill feeling. As I said, if you take too much, or they're unopposed, or you've got prebiotics with it, or you've got the timing wrong, do the test, and then you'll know exactly what you need to be doing. Thanks for tuning in.